Hi, I'm Kara Wiseman, Youth Services Librarian at the Lake Wells Public Library. I'm excited to share with you some resources available to you from the Lake Wells Public Library and the Polk County Library Cooperative Libraries. The Lake Wells Public Library is a department of the City of Lake Wells and a member of the Polk County Library Cooperative. The Library Cooperative is comprised of 17 different libraries, including two special libraries, the Law Library and the Historical and Genealogical Library. What this means is that we are each our own individual city library, but we also form the Polk County Library Cooperative so that we can share our resources and materials. We also share the Bookmobile and Books by Mail programs, which are housed here at the Lake Wells Public Library. The Books by Mail program allows us to mail books directly to your home free of charge. That's one of our favorite words here, free. So the Books by Mail program is absolutely free to you, the public, on all of Polk County. We can send books directly to your home. All you have to do is get your books back to a library in Polk County, and that could be any of the libraries in the county. You can request items through our online catalog, our brand new mobile app, or by contacting your local library. We also have our bookmobile, which you might see out on the roads of Polk County. A lot of our county is unincorporated, so one of the ways that we have set out to serve our community is through the bookmobile. He has prearranged stops that he goes to throughout the county. You might find him down in Sunray and Frostproof, um, Hunt Fountain Park in Lakeland, um, Walgreens in Davenport, or even the Poinciana Community Center in um, Poinciana. Because the libraries in Polk County are each individual city libraries, there's a lot of unincorporated Polk County out there that we had to think outside of the box on the ways to reach our community. The bookmobile is one solution. Another is vending machines. Yes, vending machines, just like the kind that you get your candy and chips out of. If you go up to I-4 and 27 and look for the Visit Central Florida Visitor Center, if you go into the back on the back porch, you'll find two vending machines there full of books and movies that you can check out with your library card right there at the Visitor Center. So to get a library card in Polk County, it's absolutely, what's my favorite word? free. You can get a library card with just your Polk County ID. That's all you need is something that states that you live here in Polk County. And once you get that one library card, it's good for all of the libraries in Polk County. One new and exciting program that we had for our students in Polk County is what we call the plus accounts. With a plus account, Every student in Polk County Public Schools, Lake Wells Charter Schools, and coming soon to Berkeley Accelerated Academy in Auburndale, every student has a library card just using their student ID. They also have access to all of our online resources. Speaking of online resources, if you go to the Lake Wells Public Library's website, which you can find at cityoflakewells.com or lakewellsfl.gov, once you go to that website, you'll come here to our homepage. From here, you can find all types of content that we have for you out there. Um, if you go over here to digital content, you can pull down here, we have databases and all kinds of different resources. Here at the Lake Wells Public Library, we have Lake Wells historical maps. Our Flickr account has all kinds of um, archived photos from the history of Lake Wells. Um, we also have the Lake Wells Highlander newspaper um, digital collection on here. But then there's a lot of other different things that I want to show you. First of all, if you go under databases, and the A to Z is the easiest to show you what we have here. Um, um, under here, you can find a huge variety of different websites for you. These include Ancestry.com. You have to be in a po um, Polk County Library Cooperative Library to use this one. But then there's Auto Repair. There's the Agricultural Content. Um, under C's, we've got Career Transitions. We have Culinary Arts. F, we have the Florida Electronic Library, which is one I want to show you. Um, once we get into the Florida Electronic Library, so most of these you will need your library card to get into. Um, this one allows you to search here. You can search into, um, I'm going to type in hurricanes. 
and it will return a search for you of a different uh, magazine articles, um, newspaper articles, academic journals, books, news, images, videos. Um, if you look down here, uh, blowing in the wind. Let's look at this one. This is from Super Science Magazine, November of 2020. Here is the title and the entire article. It will tell you if it's a full text article so that you have the entire article. Um, it tells you how many words are here, the lexile level of it. Um, one really cool feature here is if you um, have trouble reading the words, there's also a listen um, thing that you can uh, listen to the, um, the article being read to you. How did tiny lizards survive a pair of powerful hurricanes? We also have on our website, you can go into the um, catalog from here, you can search for books that are available within the Polk County Library Cooperative. It says at the top, Lake Wells Public Library, but this um, catalog searches all of the libraries in Polk County. I'll put an easy one here for Harry Potter. Let's try that. Um, and it'll send out a search. And it's bringing in the items that it found. Um, when you click on a title, you'll see here on the um, page which library that it's available at. It also tells you what type of material it is and where you will find it. And if it was checked out, it would say checked out here in the status. If this is something that you would like to check out, um, you can place a hold on it. You hit the place the hold and it will ask for your library card and pin number. You type in your library card and pin number and then there's a pull down menu that allows you to choose which library that you would have the book sent to. Also on our website is our Gale Online Courses. This is a really cool feature for teachers and for uh, adults that want to learn um, something new. Um, these are six weeks courses that are taught by professors. Um, you sign up for it. And here's this one, um, A to Z grant writing. It starts on November 11th. There's a new one starting on December 9th. You enroll in it. It's a six week course that you take, but here's the really cool part. If you get into it and it's over your head or you run out of time to um, take the course, you can just stop. It's absolutely free. There's no requirements on here. So there's all kinds of programs for you. Everything from grant writing to leadership, introduction to algebra. There is um, personal development. There's digital photography. There's children and parents, arts, job searches, starting your own business, test prep, um, language arts, medical and health care. Um, if you are looking to do your, your EMS and fi firefighting, they have the test on here, how to handle medical emergencies, computer applications, finance, all kinds of different um, resources for you on here of courses that you can take. One brand new resource that we have through Gale is Gale Presents Udemy. There's over 6,000 online video courses that you can take. They're all up to date. Um, all you have to do is sign in. And once again, it's absolutely free. There's so much out there um, that we want you to know that is available to you. Um, for our kids, we have um, the info bits. Um, if you click on this kids info bits here, um, this is an easy search for them because it's in images. Um, they can choose, uh, let's choose geography, oceans and seas, and they can go from here to find out um, more information on articles here for them. Um, there's also Novelist. Novelist K through eight plus is an excellent resource for reading teachers um, and parents. This gives you uh, books I'm in the mood for and they have it 
for fast-paced, upbeat, attention-grabbing, serious and thoughtful, so different type of topics. One really cool thing about um, Novelist, it allows you to um, choose a book that you, you can look it up by um, the title or keyword, and, or you can just search the genres here. This brings up this book here. It's a brand new book, just came out. Um, it also tells you the um, accelerated reader. Some of them tell you the Lexile level. But what's really cool on this is it also gives you over here on the right hand side read alikes. So if a student said, I've read this trilogy so far and what's something that's like it? Um, so you can come over here and look on the read alikes and it gives you books that read in the same vein. Um, Charlie Hernandez and the League of Shadows was a really cool book as well. Um, so this gives you an idea of if you have that kid that's a picky reader and they finally found that one book that they really, really like, this is a way for you to come over and find um, another book for them um, in the same topic or genre that they really like. One new database that we have to the Lake Wells Public Library is the Foundations Directly on Directory Online for Grant Makers. Um, if you have a nonprofit and you are looking for grants um, or scholarships, this um, foundation directory allows you to look up um, different companies that are handing out grants. Other databases throughout the county, if you look on um, the different libraries throughout the county, their websites have um, other online resources for you as well. Um, I just found in Lakeland they have a new one called Creative Bug that's um, a craft directory where you can um, look up videos on different crafting. Um, there's all kinds of things out there um, on all the different libraries if you look that up. Um, other things that we have for you that is really cool, if you go to um, apps that you can download, mobile apps, um, we have Overdrive. If you download Overdrive, it allows you to check out ebooks and audiobooks directly to your phone or e-reader device. But Overdrive is just like you are in the library. If, you, if I have the book checked out, you have to wait till I turn it in before you can check it out. We also have Hoopla that is provided by the Lakeland Public Library. Hoopla allows you to download books, movies, music, audiobooks. It's all absolutely free, just like the others, just using your library card. On Overdrive, you'll need to search for the Polk County Library Cooperative and sign up under that. On Hoopla, it goes through the Lakeland Public Library, and all you need is your library card. And from that, you can download um, any of those resources straight onto your phone or e-reader device. Flipster is digital magazines. If you like um, good housekeeping, um, other types of magazines like that, you can find that in Flipster, and that's just that's another um, download for you. Something brand new that just came out is the Polk County Library Cooperative mobile app. Once you have that downloaded, you can search our catalog just like we did going through this website, but you can do it straight on the app. Um, you can look up your account and find out what things that you have out on your account. You can also, while you're in the library, if you have your books in hand and um, there's a line at the desk or you want to go contactless, you can use the mobile app to self-check out your books using your phone. That's something totally new for us and it's really, really cool. Um, so you can do that by just going to uh, your app store or your Google Play to download the Polk County Library Cooperative app. And I think that covers all of our online resources. So if you want to look up anything here, uh, I pulled up the Polk County Library Cooperative. Um, this website here gives you um, information on all of the different libraries in the county. You can see here the map where we're all located at. It takes you to talk to you about books by mail, about the bookmobile, um, and all kinds of other things that are available to you from the Polk County Library Cooperative. 
if you have any questions, please contact us, um, any of the libraries, give us a call. We'll be very, very glad to help you. The Lake Wells Public Library and all of Polk County Library Cooperative Libraries pride themselves on having a very active programming for the whole family. Of course, during this pandemic time, most of our in-person programs are on hold, but in normal times, you could find book clubs, author talks, yoga classes, um, there's knitting classes, story times for preschools and toddlers, and Miss Nancy at the Polk County Library Cooperative Office does a bilingual story time, there's STEM programs, there's craft days, there's monthly programs for kids and teens, there is community service hours for our teenagers as well. We have Read Squares as a program that some of the libraries have to keep reading logs. We have our thousand books before kindergartners for our preschoolers that are coming up getting ready for kindergarten. We want to keep them reading. We also have um, the Lake Wells Public Library. We have a story walk out behind Kiwanis Park where you can ride your bike and take a walk and read a story all at the same time. Um, there's so many other things that we have for you in our different libraries. Um, the Lake Wells Public Library has a seed library where you can check out seeds. We also have um, Bach Tower Garden passes that you can check out for a week to be able to go up to the tower. Um, some of the libraries check out hot spots. There's all kinds of different special things that each of the libraries in Polk County have just for our community. If there is a topic that you are working on in your classroom or in your home and you need supplemental materials, you can give your library a call and we'll be glad to pull books for you on that topic. Um, if you are looking for um, a special book that your kid wants to read, give us a call and we'll be able to go out and look for it. And one of the great things about having the Polk County Library Cooperative is if I don't have the book here at my library, I can request it from any of the other libraries in Polk County and and have it sent here to the Lake Wells Public Library or have it mailed directly to your home. One of the great things that we can do for teachers is to pull the books for you and so that you can use them in your classroom. And books are a great way to bring different subjects in for whatever subject that you're teaching. Um, for example, I have the three little pigs. We all love the Three Little Pigs. The Three Little Pigs is a great way to do a STEM activity of building homes on, uh, out of different materials and then bring in your hairdryer and see which one stands up against the big bad wolf. But you can also do, from the Three Little Pigs, we have uh, the Three Little Fish and the Big Bad Shark. So you can take it and go into the Under the Seas theme as well. Then we have our three little Cajun pigs and the three little javelinas that you can take and do cultural aspects of these books as well. Then from these little pigs here, you can find other little pigs like these pigs that are on the ball and fun with math and sports. So you can tie in math and sports and all kinds of different activities. We have books, this is a brand new and it's absolutely beautiful on my friend, the earth. So here's your earth day books. We have, um, Oh, <laughs> duck for president. We just went through an election. This is a great book to do election coverage on because we all love duck. I believe it's our job to help the students learn to love to read. Um, so many of the kids I hear, I don't like to read but I believe they just haven't found a subject that they like yet. So it's our job to help them find something that piques their interest. Um, I know my son, when he was young, he wouldn't read nothing but nonfiction, which is nothing bad about that, but he would just look through the pages of the nonfiction books until we found that one series that got him hooked and he became a lifelong reader. So we just have to find those little bitty nuggets of excitement in them to help them learn to love to read. And that becomes on us to help breathe that love in there. And we have to not be worried about being silly. We have to be able to laugh and read and use voices and read the books together. Um, even this silly book right here called The Book With No Pictures, it's an absolutely fantastic book, but you have to let all things go because you have to read things like, glug, 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 my face is a bug, and I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. What? Yes. 
there's no pictures in this book, but it's absolutely hilarious and the kids ask you to read it over and over and over again. And that's part of helping the kids learn to love to read. One of my favorite authors is Mo Willems. If you haven't heard of him, you need to go look him up. He writes books like Elephant and Piggy, Pigeon Drives the Bus, don't let the pigeon drive the bus, and many, many more. Um, this book is called We Are in a Book, and it's read with permission by Disney Hyperion Books for Children because there are copyright laws. <laughs> so the story is Elephant and Piggy, We Are in a Book. Thank you. What? Piggy? Yes, Gerald? I think someone's looking at us. Someone is looking at us. Who's looking at us? A monster? No, it is a reader. A reader is reading us. How is a reader reading us? The reader is reading the words in these word bubbles. We are in a book. We are in a book? That is so cool! <laughs> we are in a book! We are in a book! We are being read! We are being read! Oh, I have a good idea. I can make the reader say a word. You can make the reader say a word? I can. If the reader reads out loud. That is a good idea. That is a funny idea. <laughs> Here I go. <clears throat> Banana. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> the reader said banana. <laughs> oh, the reader said it again. <laughs> <laughs> Banana. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> uh, do you want to turn before the book ends? Ends? The book ends? Yes, all books end. When will the book end? I will look. <gasps> Page 57. Page 57? It's page 46 now. Eek, it's page 47. This book is going too fast. I have more to give. More words, more jokes, more bananas. I just want to be read. I have a good idea. Whisper, whisper, whisper. That is a good idea. Hello, will you please read us again? I hope this works. Me too. The end. And I hope that you read stories over and over and over again. And if you have any questions about anything that we've said today, please feel free to contact me at kwiseman, that's K-W-I-S-E-M-A-N, at lakewellsfl.gov. The website for the city of Lake Wells is lakewellsfl.gov. Also, you can look up the Polk County Library Cooperative at mypclc.org. Thank you so much and have a great day.